SpaceX has increased the pace of everything happening around its new Starship. The development is happening ever so fast, and new things are being added while other parts of the Starship are being finalized before the rocket takes its first official orbital flight. So, what's happening at SpaceX? Let's find out today. Welcome back to another brand new video on the channel. We have been discussing a lot about Starship recently. Every day, there is something new happening, and this time it's the flight-worthy nose cone of Starship that has been placed on the whole stack. So, why is this such a big deal? Let's talk about it. Starship is a revolutionary spacecraft, and there is no second opinion about that. From its 33 powerful engines to its booster landing mechanism, everything is going to change the space industry. SpaceX and Elon Musk have always surprised the world with what they come up with. It's like Musk has taken the quote, nothing is impossible in this world quite seriously, and he always keeps up showing these impossible things. With Starship, he has just one goal, and that is to transform space into a travel destination where humans could go. He is all set to commercialize space travel, and Starship is going to play a crucial role in making that possible. If you have been following the news regarding the Starship, then you'll know that SpaceX has speed up the development activities on their new Starship. In early days of 2022, Musk had promised that the spacecraft will perform its flight any day in the 12 months of 2022, but now that we are already into 2023, we can see what the situation would be back at the office. So, it's natural that everyone at SpaceX is working at full capacity to transform the dream into reality and see the incredible launch of Starship enduring the first quarter of 2023. The new nose cone fitted to the Starship stack is one necessary part of the Starship as the one we saw previously was a very rough top. No one had the exact idea what SpaceX was doing on the Starship, but we all knew that it will surely not lift off with that absurd nose cone. That got confirmed when we finally saw the new flight-worthy nose cone coming out of the shed and being stacked on the Starship. The way it has changed the look of the spacecraft is simply amazing. Previously, the cone was rough, that's another thing, but there was something about it that the stack was looking incomplete, as if there was a major part missing. This new nose cone proves that those who thought it wasn't complete, and lifting off with that head was certainly out of question, were definitely right. The question is, why is a nose cone so important? For a rocket, two major forces are acting on it and trying to stop it. One is the gravitational force of the Earth, and the second, and perhaps the greater one, is the air resistance that is constantly acting on it. While the powerful engines of the spacecraft are good enough to beat the gravitational force, still the part that has to deal with the resistance coming from the air is the nose of the spacecraft. Now, after seeing the new nose cone, we can clearly say that Starship is all set to take its flight. There are a lot of other things that need to be perfect to launch the vehicle. However, from the outlook of it, everything seems in order. This new nose cone, which has been replaced with the old structure, is not only superior in terms of the way it looks, it is also built from a reinforced steel structure that makes the whole outer skin. There is something more prominent on the outside than that shiny steel nose, and that's the wings of the nose. There are two massive rings protruding out of the steel structure, and trust me, these wings give the overall Starship a mean look. These wings were designed specifically to help the Starship cut the air and make the structure more aerodynamic. These spacecrafts are not meant to perform great maneuvers. So, there is no confirmation on whether the wings are movable or not, but they certainly are a crucial part of the nose cone. The outer shell has its importance. However, what lies inside determines how the Starship will perform once it's airborne. In that sense, the thing which really makes it important is the inner reinforcements. Obviously, the nose isn't one whole steel piece. There are five steel rings stacked over each other to hold them close and strong. When it takes the beating from the wind, the beams are fitted inside the steel cone. These beams are called stringers. Stringers perform two jobs. One is keeping the stack of five steel rings together, and the second is reinforcement. So nothing breaks during the harsh situation that it will have to face once the spacecraft lifts off. It was a very important moment for everyone at the space station when they saw the new cone. 
The Starship Prototype 8 or the SN8 has stood on the launch pad for quite a while. A lot of test runs have been done in the past few months. While the SN8 hasn't been launched, all the tests that were performed during which the three Raptor engines were fired were static. We are not sure if that was because the nose cone wasn't right for the launch. According to SpaceX, test flight was due before it could be launched for the orbital flight. And now that the nose cone has been stacked onto the Starship, it seems like the test run might be after a few days. You can guess how actively everyone at SpaceX is working. All the work from bringing the nose cone to the launch pad to getting it fixed onto the stack took less than 24 hours. SpaceX is really desperate to launch its iconic spacecraft because the flight is long overdue. Musk is already notorious for making empty promises. The tech entrepreneur is very active on Twitter and he keeps claiming so many things over there. The news that Starship has completed its tests and is all set to take off in the next 12 months of 2022 was also the doing of Mr. Musk himself. No one can deny that space is a wild territory and going out there unprepared is like putting your arm into a lion's mouth and expecting it to not bite you. So SpaceX has adopted a precautionary approach and they want to make sure that nothing disastrous happens once the 33 engines of Starship Booster 7 are fired. But this does mean that we will have to wait a bit longer before we see the magnificent launch of the new Starship. Until then, we can see the developments happening around the Starship. On that note, I'll end this video here. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.